All right, welcome to the final section of uh, the module. In the last module, we spoke about application insights. We saw how you could gen um, configure um, availability for your application, and it has to be a public application, obviously. And in this video, we wanted to get started with uh, monitoring um, how you could generate alerts and bases and custom metrics or out of the box metrics available on Azure. You could just create alerts. And monitor your application without setting up anything um, over and above Azure so if you're using Azure and you've already got resources onto Azure these were the ones we created in our last module uh, during the Terra test we would like to configure some of the alerts for them so now let's suppose um, if you go to the storage account and we would like to create some alerts at the moment we haven't got any of them if you go on the left hand side and scroll to the bottom if you go to the alerts we haven't got anything we could just start creating a new alert rule um we already have got the resource selected and if you add start adding the condition you would see bunch of things like availability um like the availability ingress um transaction uh, list storage keys and all those things so if somebody has let's suppose uh, list uh, just has done fetched out the list of storage keys in the last few hours um, its signal is returns the access key for this specific account if somebody has list down any access key in the last 24 hours you would like to get notified and this is now again one of the security thing which you want to notice you could have achieved it this using uh, your testing as well but that's the point that's what we were trying to make that whatever you could do using monitor you should not do using the testing there should be uh, a very very thick line should be drawn out of what should be monitor and what should be testing so these features um, basically won't, comes under the monitoring rather than the testing so once you've done that um, if you have if you want to edit it that okay in the last uh, uh, if somebody has um, has got an access to the keys of the storage account that's something alerting um, and uh, what you want to do is you want to create some actions group because you want to take actions out of those requests so you could just create an action group um, alert action group and if you go right um, you could just use the notification type whether it's gonna be a message uh, or the role okay you, you can just um, uh, create the message as well uh, I think for India at the moment it's searchable uh, so you could just email um, so if you've got anything any email admin address or um, the uh, entire um, uh, DL you could just add it over right over here you could just uh, use the SMS key as well I'm not sure if it's available for India yeah it's available for India and you could just uh, use your phone number as well and then you could use the push notification and the number as well once you've selected that you could just go ahead and uh, take action you could also basis on if you have certain workflows that whenever this alert should be there you could just use an Azure function or you could just use the logic app using the Azure function you could just suspend the uh, account for some time or you could just uh, delete or purge the take some action on your storage account as well or you could just refresh your uh, storage account keys as well so once you've taken all those actions you could just um, do a review plus create and that is going to create a, an action group for you so basically an action group is um, is a, is a point where you define what action you want to take with those uh, alerts and once that is done the action group is done you could just create an storage uh, create the uh, rule storage alert and you could just specify an action um, description as well all right once you've done it uh, you should have one um, alert coming up popping up right over here so 
So this is how you could just uh, create alerts for your storage account. We've uh, we've done it for storage account, obviously, but you could do it for any of your um, any of your resources on Azure, um, be it virtual machine, um, uh, and um, and and or the or the um, uh, the any of your resources on Azure. So you've got your action group. You've got your uh, actions um, defined under it whether you want to put an email address or uh, whether you want to define uh, uh, a push notification or something else you have got the alert right over here um, now if you just wanted to create it for all of the resources at once you could just go to the monitor section as well and then you could just go to alert so monitor section has got a lot of um, um, detection and insights available underneath it you could just select alert from there you could just see that we have already got one uh, one error uh, and one alert was triggered or one alert was created you could just um, create other alerts as well for your resources so if you want to create um, something for all of the resources you could just put all or you could just use probably virtual machine and you should have all of the virtual machines underneath it you select the virtual machine and then you put down the condition the condition could be um, as simple as uh, CPU utilization uh, disk um, used there are hundred of um, uh, metrics already available you could just use any of them network in and out um, and then the created or somebody has updated something in the virtual machine in the last few hours uh, you would like to get notified and somebody done by some uh, you could also put somebody's name that should have been could have been done using this particular user or somebody else and basis on that you could just uh, uh, create those uh, condition and then underneath the action group Either you can create your own action group or you could just use uh, the existing one. We're going to use the existing one and then you could just name it with a description and just create the alert group. All of them, uh, what we have just seen, uh, can be managed using Terraform as well. If you go to the Terraform documentation, you would see that you could just create an action group. Um, that's the action group we have created manually. And underneath the storage account, you could just create an alert. Okay, this particular operation, uh, if the API is Microsoft or storage account, and storage account operation is right, then uh, just, just trigger the alert. And you could just get all of these API lists from Microsoft documentation. Um, and um, and yeah, the the extensive list can be found in Microsoft documentation if you just type in Microsoft monitor APIs you would just get all of the metrics underneath the uh, storage account or for that matter any of the resources and you can just loop through them and create multiple um, alerts at once using the for loops in Azure as well all right this is how you could just monitor and create um, alerts and uh, um, we also discussed about how how, how you can just differentiate between testing and monitoring for your resources rather than clubbing them together or um, doing the same thing which could have been achieved using monitoring in the testing. I hope this was informative and that's about it. Thank you.